Everything about this trip changed, but it just made it more of an incredible adventure. So we're originally going to paddle on the Dura River, but the day before we went on, a friend of mine from up north said, I think you might need a permit. I was like, come on, a permit? For, it's not commercial, we're not you know, selling this, this trip, it's a, it's a fun thing. Four, four people going around for a leisure trip. And it uh, doesn't quite qualify. So no, they said, no, 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 best you check. So we phoned up the captain here, which is the uh, authority, which is responsible for the river. He said, guys, what's the deal? Oh, no, 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 but you have to get a license. You have to apply 30 days before. You've got to have a support boat. And if you don't, the fine is between 500 and 7,400 euros. It's like, hmm, that sounds ridiculous to me, but you know, surely it's a river, river. They just have some laws. We can abide by them, no problem. And, and why get a permit? I mean... Strange. Okay, I understand that they need you to, to to know that you're going in the river so they can help you, but still, it was crazy. So we just decided at the last minute to leave it at the last minute. I had a backup plan, and the backup plan was the Zezre River. If we paddle from the Zezre all the way down to the Teju, and from the Teju all the way down to Lisbon, and that would make it 250 kilometers. So that was the backup plan, and we went up to Porto that night on Saturday, 24th of September, saying to uh, Tim and Nikki, who were flying in from London, and uh, they were arriving in Porto that day. And my brother and I, Andrew, we were catching the train from Faro all the way up to Porto. So we were meeting in Porto. The boards had already been shipped there. So everything was in Porto. And we're going to have a dinner in Porto that night and decide what we should do. Yoo-hoo! This is the first Uber I'd ever taken from my house. You like music? No, yeah, that's fine. No. Couldn't believe it actually worked. Um, you can turn around here if you want. So where are you off to, Andrew? Well, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> uh, it's a bit undecided. <laughs> well, let's go to Porto for a start. We can give that a try. Yeah. Actually, it's quite a beautiful morning here. It really is. It's a long trip in that breakfast. We're here in, um, where is this? Praia International. Uh, Puro Onda Surf School, waiting for the boards. Actually, waiting for the guys to land. And then they're going to make their way over from England. They're going to make their way over to here. And then we are going to pick up the boards and head back to the youth hostel. For the whole ton of luggage. Go for it. You're not going to break it. Okay, you're going to do it like this. Andrew, that was very impressive. I'm impressed too. It's quite a nice place. It is quite a nice place. Very nice. So we're here at Ondapura. We're just picking up our kit and arranging it all and then about to head down to the river. Wow, this water's cold. Really? <laughs> wow, this, wow, this, wow, this. It really is chilly. It's like uh, back home. Really yeah, it's a bit bloody cold. Wow. <laughs> but um, there's lots of people out there. Stand up paddling, surfing lessons, everything. Can't figure out what this thing is. No idea what it is. It's like an upside down hat or a, a, a launch pad. Yeah. You ready to go? You ready to go? Yeah! Go! 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 <laughs> He's struggling there, bro. <laughs> so how big is this room, Andrew? It's about this big. Look, I can nearly touch. <laughs> it's classic. I've never seen a four-bedroom room this small. Not a four-bedroom. That's yeah. amazing. Four that is incredible. Good job, Nicky. <laughs> <laughs> He's using well, every expense is spared. Apparently, Porto is 98% full tonight. So yeah, that's what we're lucky lovely. to get a bed at all. Others will be sleeping on the bush. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. Yeah. We're waiting for the Uber. That Uber. That Uber. 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 Does Uber here next to the river in a rainy, rainy right. Porto? We're on our way to find a car rental agency. Just walked about five kilometers and there's the light at the end of the tunnel. Can you see that little sign just over there? Europe car. So we're in Porto, 
We are finding our way to the start. The start being where? Coimbra. Cambage. 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 And we have managed to find a car from the same company of the lovely Bernardo who took us home last night. Not that car. Not that Europe Not that car. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll soon be setting off. Plan looks like it's coming together. The starboard sign is the Tiki. Does this look comfortable? Because it wasn't. We were so excited that we're getting a ride down to the middle of Portugal that we could sit through this kind of comfort for 230 kilometers. So thank you very much to Nelson for bringing us all this way. How many kilometers? 220. 220. 220. And, uh, yeah. came to this because we would have been screwed without it. It was fantastic. Okay. Thank you. Muito obrigado. <laughs> obrigado. Such a beautiful spot. So discovered that I left my phone in the taxi. It was a bit thick. You may come back, you may not. You know, we're just going to paddle down this idyllic river. All right, we're just setting off from Cambridge. Here goes 250Ks. Cha-ching. A lot of rapids below the weir in Cambridge. Okay, people, please stop leaving your rubbish on the river because we don't like it, neither does nature. We reached our first night's camp and settled down, so made a fire, and then put on the gas cooker gas to go and make dehydrated food. Whereas we could have done it in the fire, but we were actually, to be honest, we were very careful about having fires because um, we knew that it was a high risk area to make fires. So we were very, very careful and cleaned up really well afterwards. Before arriving at any of these campsites, we actually cleaned up the entire campsite because there was just so much garbage all over the place, which is really quite sad. Really was sad. I didn't know this here is the real Zezere. It's beautiful, peaceful. Look out for episode two of the Zezere 2016 stand up paddle adventure coming soon.